Hey everybody, it's Pat Lorna from thecoolestcouple.com and this continues our series of Cold Tribe Tips and today we're going to talk about Gravatar. Um, what Gravatar is, is the image that appears beside your blog postings, like when you leave a comment. Now, to find some more, we'll have a checklist that you can print out again. Um, we're going to cover what Gravatar is, how you set up your Gravatar account, uploading an image, adding an email address, how to check to make sure your avatar is working, and of course we have some additional learning assets like this checklist. Uh, to find more about Gravatar and just what it, the definition of it is go to Wikipedia and we'll have a link there. We'll talk about uh, Automatic. The interesting, Automatic is the same people that do WordPress.org and WordPress.com, Akismic, uh, Intense Debate, BuddyPress.org, and Gravatar falls uh, with within that. So what is a Gravatar? Well, a Gravatar is an image that follows you from site to site appearing beside your name when you post a comment. So here's our one of our Gravatars we're using and as you can see here's a blog post or a comment that we left on Gavin's blog and it's put our picture beside it. Gravatar also provides something called a public profile. And within the public profile, you can then verify services such as Blogger, Dig, Facebook, FriendFeed, uh, Four, uh, Foursquares, LinkedIn, MySpace, etc., etc. Cost for Gravatar is free. Everybody likes that one. We're going to walk through the steps of how to set Gravatar. The one thing is you'll have to confirm your email address. Like how we upload images. How we add additional emails. And a way you to check to see if your avatar is working. And for this checklist, if you go to the coolestcouple.com forward slash gravatar101, that will give you uh, this information. And we're also going to do another one called Gravatar 202, and I'll talk more about the public profile as we're trying to keep these uh, recordings under 10 minutes. So let's get into this. Bring up our our Gravatar right now. This is our main one that we use, uh, and we, these are all the email addresses and images that we've attached to it. The other thing that Gravatar is really moving with is it now has this. Uh, item called a public profile. So if you're, you can have your uh, public email, public Skype, public phone number, and also also ver you can also verif uh, verify certain services such as Blogger, uh, Dig, Facebook. So all these services you can verify them that they're and they're attached to you. And of course you can put in some pictures within your public profile. Okay, so let's set it. Now, the reason I wanted to talk about this, here's our definition on Gravatar. Okay, you guys can read that in your own time. Uh, here is this automatic and WordPress.com, Poll Daddy. You can see all the services that they tie in Intense Debate, WordPress.org, BuddyPress. So these are, again, all tied in so it's going to help with some of these with some of these linkings so why do we care well let's look at TSA mastery now there's again there's some blog uh, some comments at the bottom here let's just scroll down to this a lot of people have gravatars and all of a sudden there's a couple here that don't have gravatars and it just really doesn't look good you know you're kind of wondering what does this person really have any authority you know, if they can't get their Gravatar in there. Uh, now, in our blog, too, there's some, again, some other places where people leave great comments. Let's go down to the bottom here. And there's a few that... Where are we? There we go. Again, you know, she's got a web website, but there's no no Gravatar. So what I actually click on her link to see what she had had to say. 
and I'm not uh, blaming anybody. I'm just well, I'm trying to help everybody out here. And there's some more in here too. Same thing. Um, let's go down to the bottom. It's not everybody, but it's very important to get your gravatar image attached to your your comments because it gives you more authority. Okay. Well, it's kind of showed what the problem is. Now, how do we correct it? Slow these down. So first of all, you're going to sign up for a Gravatar image, and you would do that by using the email address that you normally add to the to blog posts. Now this is going to tell me that I already use this this email address, but it would send out an email confirmation, and then uh, I would have to confirm on confirm that to activate the account. So now we're just going to log in. Okay, we're now logging into Gravatar. As you can see, we already have info at Pat Lorna. Now I've uploaded an image because these are high quality images and they take a while to come up. But all you do is to add a new image. I selected from my computer's hard drive. Browse. And then I would just go to where, wherever my images are. I keep them in pictures. and we have some images here that we use over and over again I won't do that again because this takes a while, it takes long quite a bit of time because these we are using very large images so we get better quality okay so within the account now I can add additional email addresses if I, if I wish so on our main account remember our, our main one we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different emails attached to that account with different pictures. I like to the learner likes to be learning and I like to be Pat, so and then occasionally we like to be the coolest couple. Okay. The other thing we can do now is also verify that your image is working. So if you go to en.gravatar.com forward slash site forward slash check. And if you enter an, uh, a picture, uh, your email ad address in here, info at the coolestcouple.com, it will then actually go out and verify that you have an email attached or a picture attached to that email address. Okay, I think that's going to wrap it up for now. It should give you a good understanding of what Gravatar is. Uh, in our next video, we're going to talk about the profile what a public profile is, you have images, contact information, verified services, links, and custom background, and we'll give you a quick look at, at, at our, this is our, our test one, and this would be our live one here. So it gives you some more information of what um, the public profile contains and the verified services. So that wraps it up for this recording. You can download this checklist at thecoolestcouple.com forward slash Gravatar 101. And check out our tutorial on Gravatar 202 talking about the public profile. And that will be at thecoolestcouple.com forward slash Gravatar 202. Again, it's Pat Lorna from The Coolest Couple. And we've been working on our Cool Tribe Tips. And we look forward to seeing you on our next uh, our next video.